Hey Crock Posse, Aunt Lou here, and today we are going to be making crock pot steak with gravy, potatoes, and carrots. Oh, I'm having a whole lot of fun. So, oh my goodness, this already smells amazing. Hey Crock Posse, Aunt Lou here, and today we are in my kitchen, and we are going to be making a recipe that is actually a variation on one of my all-time favorite recipes, which is steak with gravy. This time we're making steak with gravy, except we're adding in potatoes and carrots to make it a whole one pot meal, which is fabulous. You can put this on and then you have dinner ready and you don't have to worry about making sides because it's all there together. I love it. Anyway, let's get to the ingredients. So you need two pounds, around two pounds, I couldn't get exactly two pounds, of flat iron steak, fourth a cup of water, can of cream and mushroom soup, a packet of onion soup mix, you need a 16 ounce bag of baby carrots, and six potatoes peeled and like medium russet potatoes, um, peeled and cut into large pieces. Now I have already peeled and cubed these off camera because um, I am really, really, really slow at prep. And so for recipes, and potatoes are like my nemesis. I love them, I love to eat them, but whenever it comes to peeling them and um, cutting them up, I am so slow. Like, have you seen Zootopia? I'm sure you've seen the, um, at least memes or something, um, of the sloth on there. I seriously feel like Flash whenever I am trying to prepare potatoes. Now, mine and Chris's mom, she can like take a knife. Like I, I can't even peel a potato without a knife. There's just gonna be a teeny tiny little piece left by the time I'm done. But mom, she can peel off just the skin with a knife and she does it so fast and beautifully. Not me. So I did this ahead of time so you guys didn't have to sit there and watch it all. So how do we make this? We take our six quart crock pot and we are going to put our potatoes and our carrots in the bottom. And just spread them out. Okay, then we're going to take our um, flat iron steak which you're going to cut it into serving size pieces. Um, in my family we have two adults and two kids and so I actually, the place where I normally get flat iron steaks and they come in like one pound um, pieces, they didn't have any so I had to go to another place and I had to get, I think one package was like three quarters of a pound, another one was like .6 and another one was a half a pound. So I've cut this into six servings because I know my kids aren't going to eat like a half a pound of meat. And so this will make um, a really nice dinner for the four of us and then um, two lunches on the side, so great. So we're just going to take these pieces and place them in here on top of our carrots and potatoes. And then we are going to take our cream of mushroom soup we're going to put it in just a small medium bowl you don't need a huge bowl for this um, but you just need something where you can stir it without getting it everywhere now let's see if I can do it without getting it everywhere just trying to get all of that out of there then we're going to add our onion soup mix. And our fourth cup of water. And I probably should have checked that out before, but oh well. We're going to just take a little whisk, or you can use a fork, or you can use even that stirring spatula. I just like to use a whisk or a fork generally, just so I can get in there and get it all mixed up. Oh my goodness, this already smells amazing. Oh, I love this combination. It is so yummy. 
And for anybody who doesn't like mushrooms and you haven't already heard my tip, um, if you haven't heard my tip, then just ignore me. Um, but if you get if you have people in your house who do not like mushrooms, get the generic crema mushroom. Generally, it has smaller mushroom pieces, and even picky eaters like myself can um, eat it and enjoy it without even noticing there are mushrooms in it. So yay! Okay, so now we're just going to take this and pour it all on top. And I like to use a stirring spatula when getting this out of here. That way I can get as much of it out of here as possible. They're just handy dandy ones. I think even this one, like, is like a dollar at the Dollar Tree. Like, but it works really well, so... I'll take it. I like a good deal. How about you? Oh, my thumb is stuck. Okay, so we're just going to spread this out over top of our steaks. Cover and cook on low for six to eight hours. And we'll be back in three, two, and we're back. And it's been just a little over six hours and everything looks amazing and my house smells amazing. Michael walked in earlier and he goes, mmm, and his eyes got great big and he was like, what's that? It smells great and it's gonna taste great. So um, I checked and my meat, literally, I took this spoon and I just kind of pressed down and it fell apart. So. That is wonderful. So we're gonna put a little bit of meat and a little bit of veggies. Oh my goodness, I, I don't know about you, but potatoes from a roast are probably like one of my like top two ways to have potatoes because it's just so yummy. And let's get some juices in there because this is steak with gravy potatoes and carrots so we gotta get some of that gravy you guys check this out so you have that yummy steak right there and the potatoes and the carrots and so and watch this it just comes straight apart like pretty awesome huh so let's give it a try but give it just a second because it's gonna be really hot and I really don't like a burnt tongue Mm. the meat just has the incredible flavor that if you've had steak with gravy you know what I'm talking about it's amazing it's just it's just yummy and um, let's give some veggies a try mm. they are perfectly soft and just have the flavor of the roast and all the seasonings mixed in there. It's awesome. I highly, highly, highly recommend that you guys give this a try. It's one of my family's new family favorites, so you're gonna love it too. I, I am positive. So, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up down below. If you haven't already become a member of our Crock Posse family, then go ahead and kick, click, kick, don't kick. Do not kick your phone, do not kick your computer, click the subscribe button. <laughs> and if you'd like to see every time we put up a video, hit the little bell called the ding -a ling And no matter what you do, laugh often, eat good food, and speak life. Bye! I can't get it on my fork. There we go. Mm, so good. If you want to see the latest, click on the left right here. If you feel like subscribing, click on the right, my dear. And if you think we're funny, enough to send us money, click the Patreon and leave below.